Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start AC bridges. Okay. Till now, we have seen DC bridges, which are used to measure the resistance, unknown resistance value by comparing with the known resistor values. Like uh, the fourth arm, and we have also stated that it is a general or universal uh, convenient to use uh, the unknown component or unknown resistance to be connected in the fourth arm. Okay. And we have seen the DC bridges such that the voltage we have given, the circuit supply is given with a DC voltage and the resistance is measured, unknown resistance is measured. That is with the, that is the case with the DC bridges. Now coming to AC bridge, AC bridges are, I already told you, AC bridges are used to measure capacitance value, inductance value and as well as frequency and the input is nothing but AC input input is nothing but AC input that means everything here we are working here everything with frequency that means frequency dependent networks frequency dependent network and frequency dependent components like capacitance and inductance okay so everything is related to frequency now let us go through the ac bridge and how to and also see how to calculate the unknown components or unknown values like z see this is the ac bridge network z1 z2 in the previous case we have in the dc bridges we have taken r1 r2 r3 r4 but here we have taken z1 z2 z3 z4 what is the meaning of Z? Z is nothing but impedance. Z is nothing but impedance. Impedance is nothing but impedance is nothing but resistance plus resistance plus reactance. Resistance plus reactance. That means it may be R plus J XL or it also R minus J X C okay so depending upon the type of measurement whether we are doing a resistance capacitance measurement or inductance measurement this formula will come okay that means in general it is an impedance okay so as i told here it is having an ac supply previously the dc supply indication is like this dc supply indication is like this but it is an ac supply ac supply is having some sinusoidal signal which is which is varying with respect to time okay so z1 z2 z3 z4 now as usual we are taking the unknown impedance at the z4 okay this is the final formula we have got when the bridge is in balanced condition okay now i will tell you how to calculate this formula how to how we have got this formula when the bridge is in balanced condition okay and one more thing a small other change is also there when compared to the dc bridges in the ac bridges in the dc bridge we have used a galvanometer there we have used a galvanometer but here we have used a detector what is the difference between galvanometer and detector detector is nothing but a pair of earphones pair of earphones such that we can listen the sound or variations in the bridge okay or it also be treated as an ac meter or it is a simply ac meter okay these are the changes what are the changes there is a change in the input there is a change in the component and there is a change in the type of the output load we are connecting that is nothing but galvanometer okay so these points are also written here all four arms are considered as impedance that means frequency dependent components so z is a frequency dependent component and input is also a frequency dependent component and output is also a frequency dependent component we are not getting a constant current in the previous case when dc bridge is considered when bridge is in balanced condition there is no current flowing through the galvanometer here also same when bridge is in balanced condition no current flowing through the detector so simply detector acts like open circuit okay but here when bridge is in balance in unbalanced condition in dc bridge when bridge is in unbalanced condition some current is flowing through the galvanometer that current is constant forever until and unless you change the register values but here the current is a variable current in this ac bridge it is a variable current because the input is variable 
input is changing with respect to time so that the continuous change also there in the current which is also varying with respect to time that is another important point we need to note down so the detector is an ac responding device ac responding device see alternating current responding device like a headphone or pair of earphones or simply ac meter and source i already told you ac voltage at desired frequency so z1 z2 z3 z4 are impedance of bridge arms and at this balance point i will tell you how we have got this equation see this form is known as complex form why it is known as complex form because it is consisting of complex terms like uh, uh, reactive terms uh, instead of simply resistance okay now let us go through the calculation part how we have got this equation so what is the condition when bridge is in balanced condition see this is the same bridge i have considered when bridge is in balanced condition when bridge is in balanced condition what we have assumed the current flowing through current flowing through detector is zero current flowing through the detector is zero that means voltage on either sides of this detector is are equal that means va is equal to vc va equal to vc that means the voltage at this point is equal to voltage at this point because the detector is not working detector is simply it is in open condition so va is equal to vc va va how you are saying va va to with respect to ground and vc with to with respect to ground va to ground vc to ground that means vad we can also write it as vad is equal to vcd d is common point here which is nothing but ground so how to write this vad how to write this vad vad voltage across this a to d voltage from here to here that means voltage from here to here means voltage across zd z3 voltage across z3 when there is no current entering into this galvanometer or the detector the same current is flowing through the z1 and as well as z3 so how we can write this simply it is nothing but voltage division network what is the total voltage applied v okay and z1 z3 are in series when detector is not connected so z1 into applied voltage v sorry z1 where we need across z3 so z3 by z1 plus z3 into v and similarly how to write vcd vcd is equal to vcd is equal to z4 by total resistance in that path z2 plus z4 into v okay so from when bridge is in balanced condition these two are equal equate these two so z3 into v by z1 plus z3 that is equal to z4 into v by z2 plus z4 so v v cancel now z3 into the same calculation what we have done in the case of uh, resistance measurement for wheatstone's bridge here also we are doing the same so z2 plus z4 that is equal to z4 into z1 plus z3 so multiply these two z2 z3 plus z3 z4 is equal to z1 z4 plus z3 z4 so z3 this one z3 z4 this one these two are cancel what we are having now z2 z3 is equal to z1 z4 suppose if the unknown component is connected in the fourth arm this is the this is unknown component unknown component and i think but resistance or capacitance or inductance whatever it is connected in the fourth arm so we have to get the formula z4 is equal to z2 z3 by z1 
z2 z3 by z1 this is the notation for the unknown impedance okay very simple this is the formula z2 z3 is equal to z1 z4 just multiply the opposite impedances and equate okay z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 okay no need to by heart if, unless if you are unable to calculate or remember this formula z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 multiply the opposite impedances and equate them then it gives the unknown value okay very simple that is what an ac bridge is okay so once go back and see whether you have got the same see z1 z4 here also you have got z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 okay see you can follow this method or whatever i have explained in the next page you can also follow this method okay i think this is very convenient for you already you know the voltage division rule and how to write the equation for the voltage divisions okay so this is what the ac bridge now in the next video we will see how to use this formula in order to measure the unknown capacitance and inductance values okay